November 18, 1956, I took a night train to Memphis, Tennessee to visit with the Presleys at their house at 1034 Audubon Drive. This was before Graceland. It was in a quiet suburb, and it was the first home that Elvis had ever bought for his mother and dad. Gladys Presley opened the door, and immediately she treated me like I was a member of her family. The house was a bit in disarray. The curtains were closed, and the mood was very somber. I was surprised to see Elvis's gold records just laying in stacks on the floor. Gathering them up with great care, I placed them on the sofa, and Gladys took a picture of me holding these records. I was very pleased to see that the oil painting that my mother had done of Elvis was hanging in a very good spot in the house. As Gladys and I looked at some of the pictures that were taken of Elvis and me on his Texas tour, holding one up of Elvis with his green coat on and me standing there with the oil painting presenting it to him, she said, look at those two babies. Let me have this picture. Well, of course, I said, okay. Holding her little dog Sweet Pea in her arms, Gladys took me on a personal tour of the whole house. The house was strewn about with teddy bears sent by his adoring fans. But the most astounding thing happened when I was in his bedroom and I saw a framed photograph of me on the nightstand by his bed. I was really surprised and flattered that Elvis thought so much of me. We entered his closet and we went through his clothes and looked for the green coat. She was going to give it to me, but it wasn't there. And then Gladys made comments as we went along how upset she was over some of the untrue things she had read about her precious son. And she wore her deep love and concern for Elvis on her face and in her shadowed eyes. But she brightened up a minute and looked at me almost lovingly and said, You know, you really remind me of myself when I was just a young girl. I hope that she would say that to Elvis too. But as an old one who'd rather do it.